everyone. Hope everybody is doing well. Well, I was thinking many times during this quarantine, during these unbelievably challenging times of breakdowns, of lies, of deceptions, of overreactions, of illnesses, of pain, misery, suffering, joblessness, lack of humanity, necessities being neglected. This is perhaps a wake-up call to start implementing and waking the masses about a resource-based economy, discovering the Zeitgeist Movement and the Venus Project. Now, as you know, I'm driving back from Utah. I'm actually, believe it or not, heading towards Las Vegas. I'm in the deserts, the Mojave Desert, and we're getting through Nellis Air Force Base. There's a lot of land nearby, and it makes you think with all this land nearby, you know, I've talked about building alternative types of cities. Maybe perhaps we should build these so-called circular cities that Jock Fresco has been talking about in the desert. We should try this as a test drive. Because look at this right now, folks. Our healthcare system is not effective. Our establishment has not done a good job in minimizing the illnesses. And even if you agree that, well, the illness was a complete overreaction, we should have shut down things, well, perhaps you can argue that it's the monetary system that is at fault that allows powerful people to mislead people, cause massive overreaction, cause power influence to a very few individuals. And they can control us. They have lots of power over our financial system, shut things down, cause mass joblessness. People cannot afford to literally put food on the table, pay their housing costs, get around, you name it. This shows the inefficiency, the breakdown, the failure of our monetary system and how our healthcare system is based on profit driven does not work too well. And even if you have a single payer system, even if you have a government takeover, you're still going to have problems. Folks, this is a problem. Our society, our world is going through some kind of unusual, discomforting, painful transformation. And individuals like Jock Fresco and Peter Joseph, and I know the movement has split, and believe it or not, I've been aware, and I've made videos about this movement for about a decade. And I've talked about of all the people that have woken my mind, it is not the so-called alt-right movement, people like Jared Taylor. It's not people who have talked about the evil corporate power structure on the progressive left. It's not the people who have talked about anti-globalism and people who have talked about tradition and family values. It's not the people who have woken my mind up about investing in finance. No other person in the world has woken me up to the reality of how our society works than people like Peter Joseph. Because the fact of the matter is, all this monetary system, all this greed, all this competition, all this labor for income is a system we as humans, we have invented. And the, depending on how you think about it, it's artificial. We are living in a very controlled society, and especially when you think about it now, although it's not obviously seen, we are living in some kind of prison society. I'm talking about the real owners now. The real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. It really does feel like we're in a prison. It feels like we're in a dome. There's a lot of things we cannot do. And our necessities is basically neglected for a lot of people. This is driving mass numbers of illness. This is driving so much craziness. This is just driving unbelievable amounts of depression. 
and you see all the mental breakdown, the homelessness, the anger, the human suffering, all largely caused by the system. And this is a fact of nature. Nature is a dictatorship. The real dictatorship is not Nancy Pelosi, folks. The real dictatorship is not Donald Trump. It's not the United Nations. It's not Goldman Sachs. It's not Monsanto. It is not Jim Murin of MGM Resorts International and Steve Sizilak and the Culinary Workers Union using their mass immigration. The real problem isn't immigration. Immigrants want to live a better life. And we have the right to complain about it because the system does not work for us. And you know something? The politicians have their self-interest to get votes. Corporations can get cheap labor. The banks can get lots and lots of lending. And they have the power to get bailed out and charge interest to us. The system is fundamentally horrible and corrupt, ladies and gentlemen. And you have to understand that with this system breaking down, especially the fact that we are seeing a society move towards automation, I guess you can really ask yourself, can we continue this system any further? Think about it. Right now, the temperature is about 95 degrees. And you have some people right now that cannot afford air conditioning because they don't have the monetary resources to do that. We have a lot of energy reserves in the state of Nevada. We have so much potential for not just solar, I'm talking about geothermal. Why aren't these so-called alternative energy experts talking about geothermal, tidal and wave? Like it has talked about the zeitgeist movement. Think about it. Look at their documentary films. And this is the problem. You know, when I talk about these building projects out here, these horrible low quality tract homes, you really have to ask yourself, the real problem is the monetary system because these builders don't give a crap. They don't have to. And they have the power to lobby our legislature, to get cheap labor. And they know the system is inherently flawed because, well, the customers are not so well aware. The design, of the neighborhoods and the homes don't have to work well. And even my solution still has many of the problems because if my plans go through, the monetary system is gonna still exist. Although I don't think that architects will necessarily be, or planners, a career that's obsolete, but a lot of jobs are planning to be obsolete. People can't trust each other. People are staying in their homes. This is control. We're living in a prison-like society, and believe it or not, putting people in prison, like these documentaries have talked about, doesn't really solve the heart of the problem. They're talking about basic income, because they argue it's better for society for not to people have to commute long distances, the stress, the ability to look for a job just for survival. This system is fundamentally breaking down, ladies and gentlemen, think about it. So we are now leaving the desert and we're approaching basically the urban area of Las Vegas. Look, Las Vegas has a lot of great things to show. The creative arts, the entertainment, but it really reveals what's wrong with our monetary system. Look at the car I drive. And I know it's a Japanese designed car. It's better than GM and Ford, depending on how you look at it, but it breaks down because the monetary system does not want to provide the best quality products. It doesn't necessarily lead to the cheapest quality goods in terms of pricing. It doesn't lead to 100% satisfaction. There, when there's accident, there's a monetary incentive to make money. You see all these you know, lawyers make a lot of money and they advertise like crazy here in Las Vegas. And then you have to look at the resort sector, the casino, the gambling. They put you in a position where you want to gamble and even though they don't force you they pressure you so much that you lose a lot of money this is the problem the monetary system is the heart of the problem and by the way don't give me this notion that it's communism I'm certainly not a fan of communism but I think socialism capitalism they're full of flaws because communism still had banks, military, and a monetary system. Think about it, or all these institutions are needed. You look at the resort sector, the strip clubs, 
the bars. Why do we do all this stuff? Because there's a monetary incentive. And then when things break down, people lose their jobs. This is the harsh reality of where we live in. I'm right now going to a grocery store. They're gonna put something on sale. You know, is, am I really getting the best deal? That's the thing. Consumers don't necessarily know that they're really getting the best deal out there. So you let me know, what do you guys think? Isn't it time to make a transition out of this monetary system and look at some of the works of Peter Joseph? Look at all the lobbying they're gonna do. And if they're gonna have an economic rescue package, is it gonna go for us? Or is it gonna go for, well, the people in the top elites? And I know they're gonna keep perpetuating the system. The fractional reserve banking system, the mass media, the schooling system, just go down the line. Look at these roads. We pay taxes, but could they do a better job? Yeah, but why don't they? Well, because they really don't have to. Hello everyone, May Day protest here in Las Vegas. Not that many people have shown up, very low turnout.